guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode one of season two of the Ancient Magnus Ride. It feels like mm, years, freaking years since we got season one and since season one also ended. And I never would have thought, like, I mean, even with the OVAs and everything that we got that I did not watch because I didn't really have time. Um... In my wildest dreams never would have thought that we got season two i hate the fact that we only have 12 weeks with this because to me that doesn't feel like a lot of time but you know it is what it is but other than that let's go ahead and get started with episode one in three two one go are we getting the opening first no it's pretty though <laughs> too freaking long too long oh my god I'm already liking the song damn like oh My biggest thing is, is it the same person who sang season one? Well, the first, like, what, 12 episodes? And then I'm guessing it was somebody else who did the other half. But still, you gotta know, it kind of sounds like her. Thing is would it be really safe for her I mean but even here she's still not safe I mean, we know she's going to say yes. That's the thing. So. I 
Of course you would hate it. I'm gonna try. Look at that. Mm hmm. And here we are. It's beautiful. Okay, now here, here's my question. Still, has someone ever tried to break in or whatever? Something about her, though. Oh, thank God. I feel like it's not on the touch, right? <laughs> So half human, half caterpillar, yeah. Ma'am, you by the end of the series you're gonna be a butterfly? Mm -mm, not you. So you stay here. Mm 
Right? Because you are so close with her and you're always by her side. You both are latched onto each other. Mm -hmm. Tip her. Yeah, but still, that Liza, mm -mm, don't trust her. <laughs> A good amount, though. Not in a good way. Yeah, with, you know, 100% protection on her at all costs. Because, yes, someone was watching her. Oh. 
Oh, but you are annoyed. <laughs> Feels more like a Well, I think... Cat? I mean, it makes the most sense. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Did your mom not speak? <laughs> Jesus Christ, I feel like you're looking at me in my soul already. Right? Jesus. Oh, okay. Um, that's nice to know. Well, what if I won all of you? <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute. Do you see <laughs> the way she just touched her face? Oh my god, the soul! Ah! She's not sharing? Oh, wait, no, never mind. Looking at cats the same way again. Just open the door, babe.
Oh, damn. Are you okay? Another introvert. Kind of. A bitchy introvert. Are you okay? Oh! Right. Well, I mean, you know, in a way, she might be making another friend. Oh, my God. Okay, so first initial thoughts on this. All right. It kind of starts where, essentially, season one ends. And I'm guessing because of this guy who we're also talking to. The, the guy at the beginning with the glasses who was hanging out with the other guys. Um, that still goes into the OVA territory and such. But I do like the fact that it kind of gives you... A little bit of recapness in the episode at the same time, but it's still making it like, oh no, let's continue from here. This is all what happened. This is the brand new stuff, yada, 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 and such. I think for now, she will be safe at the college, but still, there's always danger lurking. So she has to watch like everywhere. So I get it. The Elios is like, no, I'm coming with you. But still at the same time, you want to be like, hey, yo, back up. Like, let her have, and she she does have it. Let her have even more of that independence. That's truly what everyone wants at the end of the day, regardless. But still, she does have that. But at the same time, let her make friends. Lucy, she interested. She just, she bitchy. She just seems like the type of girl who's like, I need this before we can hang out. Like, before I can actually become friends with you. Which, for her, is sleep. I ain't mad at her because, you know, hey, some, you know, some people are like, don't fuck up my sleep. And I get it. You know, you do what you gotta do. You you don't want someone fucking with to sleep. I, you know, me, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, no. I mean, you know, I, I hate when it is the next morning. Like, okay, let's say we have y'all, like somebody wakes up at like seven. I don't wake up at seven o'clock. I am the type of girl that wakes up between nine, 10, 11 o'clock, 12 at the latest, maybe. Or I can wake up at 9 or 10 and then not get up until 12 o'clock in the afternoon because that's how I am. I don't really feel like getting up. I don't feel like, you know, um, come, <laughs> come making conversation with people early in the morning because that is just me. 
Um, I'm still like that even now. But sometimes when I am like, okay, so the vacation, um, when I went on the vacation to Georgia, um, a couple of days after my birthday, um, so me and my mom are in one room with my dog, um, my cousin's in one room and my aunt and uncle in one room. They woke up at the at crack of dawn, like first thing in the morning, like freaking when the roosters are up, they'd be like, bruh. I can't do it. So I'm in the bed. Um, well, I'm on an air mattress with my dog. And so I'm just like, bruh, I can't do this. So sometimes like what it would be like if someone ends up making a lot of noise, like I don't, I can't speak for everybody. Like you, you either sleep through that noise or you end up waking up and then eventually you do fall asleep again. Well, I am the type of person where I have woken up and then eventually fallen back asleep even with that. But maybe like for a couple of minutes, especially like if I'm somewhere else where I'm not comfortable or I'm not at like the same surroundings and such. Like, so if I'm at, if I'm at like a friend's house, I'm cool with that. I can fall asleep with that. But like, if I'm in like a hotel or an Airbnb and someone wakes me up and such do something next thing you know, I am just like, I gotta get the fuck up because they're up and it's the most annoying thing in the world having to get up when they get up. But I mean, yes, I am very excited for this season. Like I said, I hate the fact that it's only 12 episodes because I feel like we, it'll like, it'll get really, really good. And then the show is going to be over by episode 12. And then it's going to feel like we just were at the start of what could have possibly been a 24 episode season and such. But yeah, I, I'm ready to learn more about Lucy. I'm ready to learn more about this random other girl. She's like, just, you know, helped out of nowhere like literally you could tell like i feel like a lot of people think oh my god i ship her right now they're cute together even though like she's just this blonde this white-haired girl is just knocked out and you know out of everyone she say is the one who just walks looking for something and then she's like oh shit are you okay like damn <laughs> and i mean yeah she's like usually i'm on the opposite side like of this i am on the other side of this so what the fuck <laughs> i mean but yeah okay no also the cats the cats are fucking adorable <laughs> I love them so much. I hope we get to have like at least, you know, a moment with them. I, I would like to see um she say, you know, confiding in them or just having a conversation with them about like anything. I mean, yes, when she's with um Elios or even I don't remember his name, her uh, what I like to call her shadow currently right now. Um, she is able to talk to them, to converse with them about any and everything that she really is, that's on her mind and such. But I feel like, you know, having someone who is not, you know, you've talked to on a regular basis, who is someone new coming in, there is a, it's a new idol, eye opener for her. And so I want to see conversations like that, where it's like, okay, yes, she's had conversations about others, about this, this, that, and the third. But when she talks to Rosalind, it could be completely different possibly who knows she might have like a completely different opinion on that and there's nothing wrong with getting different people's opinion it's the best thing for her especially at her age and such regardless now Liza um like I said I don't know personally how to feel about right her her right now like she seems like a very sweet kind old lady but still at the same time you know I'm looking at her like you know hey what you doing, ma'am? Like, you know, I mean, mm, don't really trust her right now, like, ish. You know, because, I mean, mm, looking at other animes that are kind of like this, or when you have someone who's like, oh, I'm the nice one, and then in the end, they're the bad guy. Yeah, I automatically don't trust her ass. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> Regardless, like, mm -mm, ma'am, I don't care. You don't trust your ass. Like, uh-uh. But, I mean, yeah, I, I really liked how, once again, pretty this show looks. Because, I mean, yes, it's pretty. Just the first couple of minutes, like, seconds before the opening came in. Like, they, you know how, like, when <laughs> anime studios just really want to flaunt how gorgeous something is? That's exactly what they were doing in the first couple of minutes. Like, God, like, that was just, like, it, it was like an orgasm <laughs> of color. <laughs> It's gonna be like Deja, what the fuck? But like, did this girl just say orgasm? <laughs> like, just a burst of color and just, you know, prettiness and just shit. It's gorgeous. Very, very gorgeous. And I mean, it's not like that. Season one was so much like that. And 
everything, every beautiful shot and anything that was gorgeous. You just wanted to take a screenshot like how I did. And I wanted to blow that ish up and be like, yes, eventually when I get a house, I'm putting that in my house. Like, God, and it's probably going to be happening again with this season. Anything that's gorgeous, like just screenshot that ish and just blow that ish up and be like, yes, in my house. Mm. <laughs> But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode one of season two of the Age of Magnus Bride. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys all officially next time for episode two. Bye, guys.